Hello everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that little intro. I had so much fun putting it together. I really wanted to set the scene for this video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French, just like this channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm sharing another love of mine, which is interior design. You guys know I'm a minimalist. You guys know I love fashion, but overall I love good design. So of course I apply it to my home as well. I'm gonna be transforming some chairs with you. So let me show you what the original chairs looked like. I still have one of them. Let me bring it out. Before showing you the chair in a little bit more detail, I wanted to give you some background info. My apartment is super awkward. I've moved my living room office area around countless times because it's just so hard to get right. We moved into the apartment site unseen, so kind of just had to hope for the best. And it's a great apartment, it's just, this room is awkward and I fight with it all the time. I spend a lot of time at home because I work from home and of course I have a baby, so my activities are very much in the house right now. So I will fixate on something like this is bugging me so bad. So I decided not too long ago to actually sell my dining table along with my chairs because I had a very large dining table that was really beautiful, but just not working for my space. It was honestly just too big and we weren't using it to its full potential. It's just the three of us. So I really wanted to downsize. I sold the table on OfferUp. You guys know I like to be thrifty. So I also searched for what I was trying to create on OfferUp as well. Found the amazing tulip table for $65, which was just like, wow, but needed some chairs. I saw these on OfferUp, almost cried when I saw them because I recognized them to be a reproduction of a famous mid-century modern style chair. I believe it's by an Italian designer. I was so, so, so excited when I found these. I found a set of three for $65. Ah! The only thing was that these chairs came in different styles. These happened to be the style that I didn't love, but the price was so good and I don't know what came over me, but I felt very confident that I could do them over with the help of my husband, Ryan, into the chairs with the design that I love. So let me show you this chair. I just realized this is a very awkward way to show it, but bear with me. So here is the chair and this is the part that I really wanted to change. The lines I felt were very beachy and maybe a little bit outdoorsy, which is not what I was going for. I was going for like a chic Parisian apartment, but in California. <laughs> but anyway, I felt like the bones were really good. I felt like I could actually reuse a lot of the materials on the chair and not have to get more. We actually used entirely the wood that was on here. So yeah, as you saw from my intro, it worked out perfectly. I'm beyond in love with the chairs and how they turned out. So if you're looking to do something similar, all that we needed was some cane, which I got on Amazon. We needed some staples and a staple gun, and then also a little bit of wood fill paste. I think we got the Gorilla Glue brand. <laughs> just to fill in any gaps that were created, but this was very easy for a beginner. It definitely could have been done a little bit better in some areas, but overall, I'm really happy and they serve the purpose that I want them to. So anyway, that was a lot of talking. I just wanted to kind of explain the vibe that I was going for, how I went about it and so on, but let's get to the transformation. 
So our first step was to remove the part of the chair that we didn't like, which was those planks running along the base. It was really easy to take them off. We just had to unscrew them and then use a hammer to knock them out of place. There was a tiny bit of wood glue that was holding them down, but it was very easy to take them off regardless. After that, we were able to see that the chair had a really good starting frame. We were able to kind of just reuse the planks that we took off, cut them down a little bit and create a brand new frame. This was amazing because it meant that we could first off recycle the materials, but then we also didn't have to buy any extra wood, which was really nice. It also made it that everything was the right thickness. Okay guys, so let me show you where we're at. So we've cut pieces of wood using the existing wood. This is gonna just create a nice frame just to make sure that it's still a sturdy chair. And then these are going to be used to create a little frame that I'm going to attach the cane to. I could potentially attach the cane here kind of that way and cover it up with these, but if any damage occurs to the cane over time, then with this little square here, I can replace it without taking apart the whole chair. I'm really happy that we could work with this wood. Brian's doing an amazing job cutting everything. So these are not totally even, but because the cane will cover, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not going to paint these because I think they'll match the cane color better like this. And if anything, they'll disappear a little bit, but I will paint everything else. And then obviously because this is separate, I can paint everything on the chair and then attach the cane after and not have to worry about painting around the cane and so on. So that's really good too. You're able to screw everything in using the existing holes and just filled the ones that were left. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little update. So I actually decided that I don't want to paint the chairs. After seeing the cane match so well with the wood, I think it actually looks much better as is. Once you paint wood, you can't really bring it back. So I'm glad I decided now rather than after in regret. But we are at the point of adding the cane. So here is my failed attempt. We measured these little pieces to create as a frame and then you would attach the cane to it, but it's just too tight of a fit. We need to make these a little bit smaller to allow for the edges of the cane. So this is where we're at. I am trying to find a solution to make this fit a little bit better. All right guys, here is another update. So it looks really good but let me show you what I'm hiding. And I'm considering redoing this. I can't get it out right now. Oh, and by the way, this is what I meant that you could take it and redo it without affecting the chair. So, ta-da! <laughs> I was trying to reuse a piece of cane that we attempted this with and back when it was too big and it didn't fit, but because the cane was already cut, it was very hard to get it to kind of all gather in place. So we kind of put some tape on there and honestly, it's not visible. I think if I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't know. Let's be pushed in. The tape isn't actually my main issue. The main issue is just that it's not tight enough and it's our first time doing this, so it's fair enough. It looks fine right now, but when you sit on it, it does go a little bit flat. You can see a little bit of the tape too, but yeah, I'm just worried that right now it's fine. You sit on it, it goes a bit flat, but the more you sit on it, the worse it's gonna get. So I feel like I should redo this. I would rather it be done well the first time than have to revisit this later. Cause honestly, this is a lot of work, but I think I'm gonna try doing the next chair first. And then if I feel up to it, go back to this one or see how, how well I do with the other, see if it'll even make a difference if I redo it. So let's do that. So now let me actually take you with me as I attach the cane. The first step is actually to wet the cane for about 10 minutes, fully submerged in water. You don't wanna leave it too long because if you leave it for too long, it will actually turn gray. So make sure that you set a timer. All right, here is the other one. The cane's a little bit wet because it makes it more flexible. So that's ideally how much room you would have to staple. I was working with like this much for the other. So hopefully this is better. Um, you'll find out, I guess, but cross your fingers that it goes on tight. <laughs> 
So you guys, Ryan actually did most of this project because I just had a hard time with the staple gun. I was planning on doing this part, but it's really, really hard to hold the cane in place, push hard enough with the staple gun, and make sure that everything is lined up at the same time. So Ryan did a much better job than I did. We didn't end up going back in and doing the first one again, just because when this one was done, it was also a little bit loose. I think working with Kane is definitely a learning curve. And right now I wasn't sure how we were supposed to get it that much tighter. So we're going with them as they are for now. The nice thing though, is that because we have that separate frame that they're on, we definitely can go back in a little bit later and redo them if needed. But for now, they're okay. It's not super visible and it's still comfortable to sit on. You don't feel like you're going to fall through, thankfully. So I think that they're okay for now. And you guys, that was the last step because we didn't choose to paint. We just had to place those in and we were done. I'm back. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please just be subscribed. It would mean the world to me. And if you want to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little view into my home, my space, what kind of vibe I'm trying to set. I had so much fun doing this. It was definitely a good amount of work, but the result is just so good. Of course, there's parts that could have been done a little bit better, but we are also just learning. We've never done this before, but I'm really, really happy with the result that we got. It's so pleasant to wake up, come out here, have my coffee, or when I'm working, bring my laptop out here and work in front of the window with some sun shining. I just love, love, love the vibe. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I'd love to know where your favorite spot to have your coffee or breakfast is. Let me know in the comments. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.